Today's mini lesson is on the different R sounds. This is the one all the students say, I can't roll my R. That's right. <laughs> so the rolled R, the phonetic symbol is just a regular R. It's also called a vibrante multiple. And it sounds like words like rana, Ronaldo, carro. Excellent. Well, you got good rolled R's there. <laughs> Uh, it's also found after an L, N, or S. That is, two alveolar sounds in a row. The R is going to be trilled, as in... Alrededor, Enrique, Israel. Good. And so you just can say Ira Israel. It's, it's got to be Israel. It's, it's hard to say Israel. Right. Uh, however, if you just have one single R, like in between vowels, that is called a vibrante simple, or tap, or flat, as in the word... Cara. Para, cero. Excellent. So one little tap. Yeah. Hit your tongue against the roof of your mouth. In consonant clusters, that R is still tapped. So where an American wants to go Prado, it's really... Prado. Bravo. Bravo. Abre. Abre. There you go. Uh, tres, drama, madre, cría, grado, agrada. Right. So you have to get used to saying Prado, Bravo, and, and tap that as well. At the end of a syllable, though, it can go either way. It could be just a tap or it could be a trill. So the word for letter is... Carta or carta. Right, so you can have either way. The word for door... Puerta or puerta. And the word for enormous... Enorme, enorme. Now, normally it's just a tap. Yeah. But for effect, people can go enorme. Yeah. But yeah. the normal ways is a tap. Yeah. Um, there are also some really gigantic dialect differences with R sounds, you know, so depending on where you're at. Uh, in northern Argentina, for example, the trilled R sounds more like a Z, and in Puerto Rico it sounds more like a H. So the word, uh, the word help, like socorro, you say socorro. Socorro. But in northern Argentina it sounds more like socorro, and in Puerto Rico it more like socorro, you know, which is just kind of a yeah. different variety that way. Sometimes, especially at the end of a syllable, an R sound can almost sound like an L. This is especially true in the Caribbean. So instead of saying puerto, it comes out kind of like what? Puerto. Puerto, right. Muerte. And, and muerte instead of muerte. So that, that's pretty much in the Caribbean. You're going to hear that R turn into L yeah, sound. Not, not much in some other place. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's our mini lecture in R. Come back and we'll do it again. <laughs>